I'm here with Joel Bless, and I've been carrying Joel's menorahs and uh, lamps for, uh, boy, a long, long time. And I just wanted to introduce Joel to you and have him explain how he got into glass and about some of his work. Hi, Joel from Glasslight. I uh, got into glass back in the early 70s, was looking at a life where I could teach tennis and blow glass and have just a wonderful time. It didn't quite work out that way. But glass was intriguing and very physical and enjoyed the process. And built a small shop and pretty much taught myself after one year at RIT. And came up with some ideas early on and wanted to do lighting pretty much from the get-go. Um, that's evolved from table lamps into learning about metal and bending our own metal to getting into the chandeliers, which are fairly engaging processes to deal with, to figure out the balance and not be copying Chihuly or Chihuly-esque pieces, trying to create a different element in the pieces by the metal being an integral part of the design. And we've been at this now for probably better than 30 years. And uh, just keep plugging away and trying to make things work well and come up with new colors and new ideas all the time. Still haven't burned out yet, but I can see the window closing slowly. <laughs> and you're doing sconces, table lamps, sconces, chandeliers. Table lamps. Candy, my wife Candice does the tables, does the fusing for the tables. And uh, we work together pretty intensely and we usually get along. And Candy's been with you. How long we've have you been, guys been? We've there? been together uh, for probably forty years. Forty years, boy. See, that doesn't happen in Hollywood. <laughs> <laughs> and you get a sense of what we're doing and how we play around. Some of the cast glass that you carry, you're now seeing, and that's a process. Some of that is a process we developed by uh, vertical casting. Um, it was something. It's kind of fun that we we tagged something and created something that really didn't have a place in glass history up until what we started doing. So that's kind of a nice little sense of contributing something to a 4,000-year-old craft. You really were the first with the uh, casting the menorah-type look and everything. Yeah. yeah, trapping the idea of water and glass. Thank you very much, Joel. Thank you.